hello. Wow, who's the strange, strange, really good-looking woman with me today? I don't know. Who's this really hot-looking guy over here? I had... Marcus? Wow. Mar Marcus? <laughs> what? Is that who you're talking about? Marcus or, or the new guy? Oh, yeah, that's right. There is a new there, guy there, in, there, the, in the booth there over there. There is a new guy in the booth. Uh, we'll let them get a second to where you can see that, but... No, no. Who, who's that? It's Scott Kaiser Scott in the Kaiser. house. Welcome, Scott. Marcus, thanks. Marcus, go back to Marcus here. Okay, let's let's bring it back up there. What's up with the shades there, bro? I, we need a mic, man. Come on. He wears his sunglasses at night. Just leave him away. I literally forgot I was wearing them when I came yeah, into the I, building. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Marcus is like, I, I, want, I am the coolest guy in the church, so I'm going to look like the coolest guy in the church. I'm the right? dude. Hey, Marcus, once Scott Kaiser stepped in the building, you were just a close number two. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I can't I'm believe that, that you've been here and we have not had, like, cobla. <laughs> it hasn't happened. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> well, it is good to see everybody. It's been a while. It seems like it's been, like, a forever, like a month since you have done the live stream. With I me. feel like it's been a month. It's been a... a a rough patch of, of of a couple of weeks. Well, what's been so Not rough? Not feeling well. Tell everybody. I mean, they know because we've been praying for you, but it might be better to hear from you. Well, between, I don't know. I mean, it's my, been a lack of sleep. That's what it's been. <laughs> let's, let's be for real. The sleep has been an absolute <coughs> nightmare. An absolute nightmare. I fall asleep in two seconds flat. The minute my head hits a pillow, and then I'm up. Like an hour later, like I've slept all night long or I'm, I'm having breathing problems. So it's um, my CPAP. I can't even wear my CPAP anymore. And tomorrow, what is tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow's Wednesday. No, tomorrow's Wednesday. So Thursday I see my sleep specialist and we'll figure out what exactly is going on. But it has been weeks of exhaustion and just really, it has worn me down. It has been, you said, Carla falls asleep faster than anyone I've ever known. I mean, it is amazing. I, I mean, I've literally seen Carla fall asleep inside of like 20 seconds. Now, I'm not even exaggerating. She, she lays down, she puts her head on the pillow, she says goodnight, and within 20 seconds, I mean, she's gone. And it's like, if you're a guy like me, because it takes, I never fall asleep in less than 30 minutes to an hour. Oh my gosh, I would go bananas if I had to wait that long. That's every night though. That's for, the, for my entire life, it's been that way. And so it can become a very frustrating thing watching you <laughs> fall asleep just like that, right? And then, and then me, I'm like, okay, now what do I watch? You know, because the, you know, and I'm one of those guys. I really, <clears throat> I don't have to, but it helps to have like some kind of sound, like mm -hmm. to be a TV show watching or, or a program in the background or something like yeah. that. That helps me, and that hurts you. And so that that's been a, been problematic. Well, Not it, problematic, but it's been a struggle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's just, you know, s good <clears throat> sleep hygiene from coming from, like, sleep studies and whatnot. You shouldn't have really any noise in the room. There shouldn't be any ambient light or anything like that. And then with the CPAP, it's it's got to be, you know, quiet and... You are not the, the quiet one. You're the one who likes to have, you know, the TV going, and I, I can't do that. And I even had, like, the, the little earplugs, but they bug my ears after a while. I don't want to sleep with earplugs every night and, and the mask. <coughs> you don't think that that'd be fun? Uh, sticking <laughs> plugs in my ears every night? Yeah, right. no, 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 no. Well, it is um, It's Tuesday. We had a good Sunday. Sunday was a great day. If you were Sunday not here, amazing. if you were not here, there was a real presence uh, of the spirit that you could feel in the um, in the sanctuary. Certainly during the worship time, it was an amazing thing. And the, we do have a devotion coming up a little bit later uh, here, and it's going to actually be kind of a tie-in to what we we're preaching on the um, the parable of the lost sheep. And so mm. that's what our devotion is going to be a little bit. And then we'll have some prayer time. We'll we'll get to talk a little bit to the people that are that are here. Uh, we'll get to say hi to some people. Um, but remember the format, guys, remember those of you watching the format changing a little bit. It's not nearly going to be as much interactive as it is. Think, think of it along the lines, more of a podcast or more of a, of a, of a talk show. And that's been the, the trend in the time that you haven't been here. We've had a number of guests <laughs> on this show. I know. And you've I missed know. all of them. I have. I've missed every one of them. You know, we had, uh, Bud Pugh Pastor right Bud. before he left. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and that was a 
that was awesome. That was great. I mean, that guy's just got so much knowledge and wisdom. He's just such a good guy. So that was great. I, that was disappointing. I must then know. we did, uh, Pastor I had Greg. Pastor Greg in mm -hmm. to share his testimony. And what was really cool, and I know you watched that, but what was really cool was to see all of, because we all know the story, those of us who know him, mm -hmm. but all the details, all the things that you don't necessarily know right. that were amazing. And then the last time we were on, uh, Tim, Tim Friesen stepped in yeah. and just kind of took your place. It was just kind of a co-host, and so we did the same kind of thing. I almost called him Pastor Tim. Well, he is <laughs> pastoral, whether whether I mean whether <laughs> he owns the title or not. Oh uh, yeah, he is. And I was thinking uh, of some more people that we could bring in, and I want to get Linda Fender in here and have oh, her. Oh my gosh, yes. Have her talk about the uh, the pregnancy center. And what yeah, that they video. do, but not just that. Remember, see, people. She does so much. People lose sight of the fact that she is still the head of women's ministries for, for, the, district. for the district, and yeah. has been for twenty something years. And I thought about what a challenge it must have been your last year, and then COVID hits, mm -hmm. and then church shuts down, right? So I want to have her in. Uh, I want to have other people from the staff. But uh, Marcus, uh, cue your picture coming up. On Thursday, we have a very special show. We're going to uh, be remotely with Brother Chris Wallace is going to be in the studio with us. And I don't know if he's um, uh, on the live stream or not. I haven't looked through the comments yet. Oh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but I know he's usually on. But he's going to be here remotely. Uh, and we're going to be talking. It's going to be a very different show. We're going to be talking politics. He actually wants to talk about some of these things. And I said, well, it's a great venue. So we're going to talk. Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, but but we're going to focus on how, as Christians, we should be responding to what we're seeing mm -hmm. in the world today. So it's political on a, on a, on on some scale, sure. but it's not it's not a we're not throwing the blame game. We're not blaming liberals or conservatives or anything like that. We're just going to talk about the facts of what's happening, and and come at it from some different angles. It's something he's been wanting to do for a while, and. Uh, Talk to him today, and awesome. so that's going to be coming up on Thursday. So you know what, Carla? Let's take a minute, say hi to some people that have thought enough of us to join us here. Can you like turn that around just a little bit more? Thank How's you. That? Yeah. All right. That's so awesome. we have. Okay, I'm going as, as far back as I can go. We're already seven minutes behind. Oh my word. Okay. So Aaron Boss. Aaron Boss is in the house. The first person I see the is boss Aaron man. Boss. Jean Ansel, who we just saw uh, yeah. a few minutes ago uh, in Jean. the parking lot. She's watching. Shelly Watt says, hi, everyone. I love you all. And is Shelly here? Because she has her small group dance thing downstairs, but I know she's been hurting. She's not been feeling well. Right. I, I, well, I don't know I if don't she's know. here or not. Somebody, uh, they probably have let me know at some point, but we'll, let's try to catch up with some of these. Um, so I don't know if Shelly's here, but Shelly, we're going to be praying for you for sure. David Jones says, good evening. Hello, Mr. Jones. <clears throat> And oh, oh, look, Carla, look who it is. Oh, honey. It's, it's so, it's so good to see her all the I time. I just love it. It's, have you noticed? Watch when you look at yourself. Yeah. When you talk like Charlotte. And she doesn't talk anything like this. What do you mean? I mean, it's just funny as I, as I watch myself and Charlotte hear the voice. Charlotte Pence, Gary Cagordia. No, it's, it's what I absolutely envisioned myself to be in like, you know, 30 years from now. So this, you better get used to this because this is what you're going to listen to day in and day out. All right? All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. All right. So Charlotte Pence is here. She's put away, Hello. as I always say, she's put down the canasta. There's no more mahjong. No mahjong. And she's, One bam. she's got her tea with her, and she's <laughs> watching the stream. That's what she's watching. Pinky out, honey. Pinky out. All uh, right. That's right. <laughs> so uh, Mr. Free. 2244. Mrs. Free. Hello. Good to see both Free. of you. Josh Nichols is in the house. Hello, Mr. Nichols. Uh, it's great to see uh, Josh. Uh, where's PT? People don't recognize me. This, this man right you, here. You know what it is? It's the hat. It's the hat. It's my Miami Marlins hat. That's Flip what it, it is. Flip it around. So we have to go backwards now, right? Turn it around time. And now we have to go. There but you go. But notice how they had no problems with you and your pirate bandana. Listen to me, okay? I don't want to hear anything about pirate bandana. Hey, do me a favor. Look that way a little bit. Look at Marcus and Scott. Do you see the earring hanging down right here? What earring hanging? Right, you have your earring. It's like <laughs> one earring is exposed. <laughs> you're, you're like a pirate, I'm I telling am. you. 
I'm like the pirates who don't do anything. Right? You are the pirate. The pirate who, but no, you do no. a lot. No, it's the it's the Veggie Tales song. Don't you remember? I, of course, I remember. Okay, I was gonna say you're we the are the pirates who, who don't do anything. We just stay at home and lay around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you we don't, we don't do, do anything. anything. That's right. Mark his story Whee! in the house, <laughs> singing away. Veggie Tales fan, right a here. Veggie Tales. <laughs> Man. All right, so oh, PT awesome. is right here. I just uh, when I wear a hat, I guess I look different, so that's where I am. Uh, Shelly says hello to Scott. Thank you for serving. Tim Friesen yeah. says way to go. Scott is giving you a thumbs up over there. Roland and Kathy hello, Gaylor. Mr. Hello, guys. And Great Mr. to see Mrs. you. Shelly just commented that she couldn't make it in to dance Aww. today. So. Oh, okay. Well, we'll be praying for you, Miss Shelly. I heard them down there, so there's people down there doing something. I'm gonna guess they're dancing. That'd be my. I mean, I don't want to go out on a limb. Is that is that what you're thinking? That's what I'm thinking. Well, wow, that that's some pretty big Spock logic right there. Well, hey, you know. Yeah. May the force be with you. My. <laughs> what I'm sorry. did you just do? <laughs> oh, I, my I, eyes. I, I was, you know, may the force be with you on your journey to Mordor. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> yeah, I read about that in Lord of the exactly. Flies. Exactly. The... <laughs> Come on, anything else? What were the What were the um. No. Just what what, what were the characters in I Battlestar can't, Galactica? Can't, can't what were the guys' you. names? The no, no, the main guys. I can't remember their names. Oh, Apollo, uh, Apollo, yeah. Apollo and, uh, Dennis, uh, Marshall? Yeah, the other Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> we are just. I, I'm breaking Marcus as we speak. All right, let's get back to it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Let us. Daniel, please. Pastor Daniel says black Hi, MLB Eddie. hats. Am I a trendsetter? Sorry, bro. I've had this hat since they changed their name to from the Florida Marlins to the Miami Marlins. Yes. And uh, so that that's where we are there. Um, Shelly saying hi to a lot of people. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Jen is confused. Um, David and David Jason Jones says we need Mal oh, oh Malaza Media Network M Malaza. Malaza. We need Malaza. Ma -ma -ma -ma. We need Monaz Media Network hats and gear. Yep, that would be cool. That sounds like an Italian meal. Uh, what do you make it for dinner tonight? Eh, a Malaza, right? <laughs> I know people in embroidery. I'm we making make it Malaza. <laughs> and Charlotte Pence Gavrick is coming over for the Malaza. The Malaza. <laughs> That's there what's happening. Thank you, Brian Story. The name I forgot was Starbuck. Starbuck, Thank you. yes. He was the other Jedi. That's right. <laughs> or, was, or, was he, or was he one of the elves from Rivendell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know. Or no, not Rivendell. You know, from, from um, Alderaan. That's where they were from. <laughs> We're just going to keep going. Marcus is holding his knife up at me. Marcus is going to kill me for this. No, Jen, we are live. You this is recent. It is happening right now. <laughs> Eight minutes behind in our as, as we keep going. Oh, is going. that it? Yep. Trying to, trying to get caught up here. Uh, Gabby, Gabby is in the house. Gabby. That was my girl. Gabby, what do you think? I'm just curious. What do you think of all of my, my cross-referencing? Shenanigans? Uh, yeah, my cross-referencing shenanigans, Gabby. What do you think? Oh, there's <laughs> it's just funny every time. I don't know why it's so funny, but it, every time it's. It, but every time, I know. it could be on anything. You know, what do you think matter. of Scott being in the studio, Gabby? What do you think about that? You know, it's it, it's funny every time. It is funny every time. All right, and that's to show how long we've been doing this. That's like eighteen wheels on a big rig. Yeah, when that happened, yes. that was like that was like slaps Ryan. Remember yep. hashtag oh slap Ryan? Oh my gosh, Ryan? yes, that was a disaster. Scott, were yes. you watching during during half? Yeah, he was. He gave us a thumbs up. <clears throat> yeah, Miss Jean says she needs TV noise also, so that's how far behind we oh, are. Oh wow! It says you're watching it. You're supposed to be working. <laughs> yes, Jen, this is PT. Why is that so hard to 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 gather? Because she can't see well. So oh well, that's she probably don't, why. You know, she's <clears throat> all right. Having, we'll cut it yeah. easier. Miss Sandy Story is in the house. Hello, Miss Sandy. Mini -ha -ha. Oh, look, it, it, it's uh, it's my son, Ryan. He is here with Gabby. He says, hello, Mia Famiglia. Uh, really? Is that wrong? Did I pronounce that wrong? You know, if you didn't have earphones on your head, I might flip that hat over. You know, kind of like, like Marcus would be. Why things. would you do that? Just that, because. That's horrible. Just, just because. 
because okay. you earned it. All right. So, okay. Um, wait. Let's let's catch up. Wait. Some more. Before you do that, I just want you to read his name. What What is that name up there? It says Ryan Joyner. I said that. It did, says Ryan Joyner. Did I not say that no, the first time? No, you term? didn't. You said it's my son Ryan, but you did not say oh. Ryan Joyner. All right. Well, um, Shelly is saying hi to Carol, and I don't know who that is. I'm going to guess Carol, Carol Primo. Primo probably. So you got guys. Remember, we don't see you if it, just when you come on. You have to put yeah. something on. You got to say hi to us. You got to let us know. So we will say hi to you. Hi, uh, my son, Ryan Joyner. Sadie Ingram is in the house. Hey, Sadie. That's PT. Shh, don't tell PT, okay? What? I don't know. I'm I don't know. Telling you I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. This is so strange. Art Dude. is in the house. Art Cell. He's Hello, here. Mr. Cell and Miss Janet. Miss Janet's bound to be there. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> we need music while we scroll. Do, 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 do. Jane Wolf Getting. is in the house. Do, 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 <laughs> hey, hey, I asked you to put together, remember, to find a, a sound app to put in front of Carla so Carla could, could throw sounds in. Yeah, I need one more cable. Well, oh. we can buy a cable. <laughs> I'll buy the cable, Marcus. Just tell me what it is. I don't know. Are you sure that you would like me to have no, that I'm kind not. of power? Well, you know, yes and no, but but no. Karen Rodriguez is in the house, which means Hola, Alex is in the house. I Alex. heard, I heard just today mm -hmm. that on Friday night, Scott was here learning to do the live stream. Oh, yeah. Now, I want to tell you about that. Put put Scott on the count camera. Let's just embarrass him for a minute. Let's just usher him right in, okay? Here's a guy who has never once Hello. been to a service in our church, right? So awesome. He's never been been to a service. He found us on the live stream, kind of happenstance, right? It's got to I mean, just kind of happened across it. Thought, wow, th these guys are reasonably cool, right? So we made a connection. We just started talking. We got to meet. And when, when we put the word out there that we needed um, help with the live stream, Scott's like, well, I can do that. I'll do it. And so this That's is the so second awesome. or third time that he's been here training with Marcus, learning how to do... Uh, the live stream. So Friday night, Scott was here. And first of all, thank you, Scott, for doing that. Appreciate yes. that very much. Um, so Friday night for Spanish ministries. Now, Scott, you don't speak Spanish, do you? Okay, he says no. Un poquito? Tacos. Tacos. Taco. <laughs> <laughs> right? Tacos. That's what he says. So <laughs> so he, he, doesn't speak, um, he doesn't speak Spanish, but he's here training Friday night for Spanish ministries. And you know who the Karikas are, so they see somebody new. No, I so don't know who the Karikas are. They latch on to him. ¿Quién es? You know? They are the Spanish ministry pastors. Ah, do you oh, know? Pastor They're, Rita Rosana y yes, Pastor Francisco. Yes, and also, as you know, it's her birthday, sí. but not, not really. Birthday. But it's not her not birthday. birthday. That's right, no? not her birthday. No birthday? No. No, no feliz cumpleaños? Can no. I just say that Scott's voice is amazing for yeah, this? he's got a great radio ah. voice. What did I do wrong? See, listen to that, man. That's perfect. <laughs> so anyway, so getting back to the story. So he's here Friday night training for live stream. The Karikas, they all go out to dinner at um, the new pizza place in town mm -hmm. and make a connection and friends. And, and That's amazing. Isn't that just cool how that. that happens? And uh, and so I'm very happy. Scott, appreciate you being a part of this and do this. David Jones says, Carla, you are a Disney princess. You can make anything you are saying. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what language he's trying to write in, but it's not English. Saying a song. Oh, okay. All right. I thought he was talking about your bandana, which we're going to talk about in just a minute. Oh my gosh! Why do we have to discuss the bandana? Because I want feedback. Where? Because I think people will agree with me. I think they will. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, okay. So Karen says hello. I can hardly walk. Shelly says I can't hardly walk. I never oh, missed dance, but I just couldn't no. do it today. We're going to be Shelley. praying for yes. you for sure. Um, t -t 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 the term because of dancing would work well here. Yes, it would. <laughs> because of dancing. What? That's a long story. We'll have to go into that another time, but you're right, Ryan. <laughs> Heidi is in the house. Hi, she Miss says, Heidi. well, um, oh, wow. Wow, we're so we far behind. We are really behind. far. Debbie Stedman is in the house. Uh, <laughs> the echo on Gabby's laugh, right? Right. Yes, yes. <laughs> Brian Story, movie dementia. Dementia. Pastor Todd suffers from it. Hey, <laughs> that's old, man. That's a long time ago. No, those are called those 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 are movie shenanigans, is what that is. This is <laughs> called provoke every you know sci-fi nerd geek out there. That that's him right there. I don't know what you mean. Oh yeah, don't play innocent. You know the the 
the intro where it had me going like this when you were talking about oh the shenaniganator yeah you called me the like shenaniganator going are... like this in the red yeah. shirt yeah mm-hmm. that I was listening to that mm-hmm. uh, earlier today that's exactly what we were talking about you were calling me the shenaniganator and I was saying no you have no mm-hmm. idea what you're talking about so in that we don't have that that bit anymore uh-huh. we don't play that but yeah yeah. Uh, you are. Charles Hansen is on. He says, good to see our faces. Pray for him. He's preaching his first sermon this way. That's outstanding, Who Charles. Charles? Charles Hansen <gasps> used to be uh, our team leader here at the church a few years back. Oh, my gosh, Charles. That's wonderful. Now, now doing ministry out in, in Texas. Oh, what a blessing. Oh, no, the master cable. I don't I don't know what that means. Wow. It, it just scrolled up on me. Woo. Oh, uh, look honey. who's here, honey. Carla. Oh, look. Darling, it's surely spills of tongue. It's surely spills of tongue. You know how appropriate this is. It's a, it's like a name from Downton. It's like Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey. Which I have to admit, we have been watching that. We've been like stream. It's like binging it um, for the past two weeks. Yes. And I'm not ashamed to admit that I don't just watch Downton Abbey. I like Downton Abbey. It's it, really good. Scott, will, will you still come to my church? <laughs> <laughs> Even knowing that. <laughs> Okay, Scott's good. So yeah, it's an amazing show. If it's you've not really seen kind it, of funny that it really is good because I, you know, we like to watch it together. So I fall asleep obviously before he does, and I'm like, you better not watch another episode without me. You cannot. <laughs> and then when like the next day rolls around, okay, you ready to watch? Are you ready to watch that episode? Are you ready oh, to watch Downton Abbey? Crazy. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's, but it's really good. It really is a, a really good show, and. Um, yeah, I mean it's just good. It's mm-hmm. just it's just an entertaining thing. So Shelley Spilsa uh, Tungate yes. is here. We could plug her class. She teaches a, a small group on Thursdays. She does. And, she does. Uh, so if you if you need a small group, you can get a hold of her. Wednesday. That's right. She's on Wednesdays. That's right. Thank you. Scott knows that. New Sky Door Church knows it. Pastor doesn't know, but Scott Kaiser knows. <laughs> yeah. James Jarvis is in the house. <laughs> Howdy, James. Hello. Okay. Uh, so saying hi to Ruthie. So Sarai is on. Oh, hola, Sarai. Uh, again, if you sign on, you have to say something or we're not going to know See? that you're here. Uh, so so Ruth is here. Brian, are you going to shave the beard or trim it up once we get back into the pub? What are you saying? Read, read your son's post. Hold on. Um, I want to... Uh, Penny Ambergy Graves, and I don't recognize that person. I recognize Graves, though. Is that well, Graves like is, is the name Dr. of Doctor Graves? I don't know. I don't know if it's a relative or not, but he is one of our general superintendents. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know who Penny is. But welcome, Penny. Thanks for being here. And she might know Charles. So great to be watching with you, my Sweet. lovely. Oh, okay. So that's your Charles's aunt. aunt. There we go. Now there, we know who that there's is. Your answer. All well, hey, Aunt Penny. Read. Welcome. Welcome to the <laughs> to the show. Mom is an aspiring. Where did it go? It's right there. Mom is an aspiring gang member with that band. That is what I told your father. And he just does not, he does not listen to me. Okay, I are, said, I look like a chola. And he's like, no, I like it. I don't like it. Listen, let's, we got three it. minutes to catch up to people. And then we'll talk about the bandana. I and then, then we'll get into our bandana. devotion. We have You're one almost of those caught two. up. You're only like three comments away. Outstanding. Woo. Shannon Wise is here. Hey, Shannon. So Shannon, we, we want to welcome you. Shelly is saying hi to Rita. Don't know who I, I'm Rita. guessing that's Rita. I get I Rita, know. Rita? But what if it's not? What if it's Shelly's eighth cousin Rita? We don't know. That's my point. You gotta tell us who you are. Listen, so, I am going to believe that it is my Rita and I hug her from afar. <laughs> so even if it is not my Rita, Rita, you're getting a hug from me. Carla, look, the soup Nazi's husband, Mr. Soup Nazi, Roger Sandberg no soup for you. is on. No soup for you. And we, Charles, we will be praying for you. We don't have any way to write down prayer requests. Marcus, see if you could scrounge me up a pen and Grab a piece. Me a, oh, what about your? It, there's no. We you got don't a pen have a stylus? In, just no. I'm not cool like you. Pastor Daniel says it's from Flushed Away and was in reference to a cable needed. Flushed Away, the, the CGI kids movie? I know that movie. <laughs> <clears throat> the bandana makes me think of an Italian woman cooking. Do you see that? The bandanas? Hey, like the old Sicilian women. Okay. Okay. See, now I could deal with that. I could, like, maybe I need like a little red, white, and green bandana. All right. So I see somebody named Shani Carroll. Mila Thank grazie. you, brother. Is, is on. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So we want to welcome you. Uh, as well. Linda Garno is in the house. It's our Rita. Okay, so it is our Rita. Rita Love Green. Rita Love. So we want to say hi to Rita. Hello, Rita. You get a personal hello. Hi. Turn. You can look at that camera. Well, they can't see you. So we're on this camera right here. That's the both of us. We're messed. Hi, Rita. Hello. Great to see you. I 
miss Thanks for you. joining us. I can't Good wait to, to see you. you. Okay. Um, and Chris Boss is in the house. Hello, Mr. Boss. All right. So so um, here's what we're going to talk about with the bandana. Get get, get one of Carla. Uh, oh, for the love of Pete. With who, wait, who, who is Pete? Do I need to be concerned? You said for the know, love may, of Pete. Maybe is there something I'll I should start be worried saying about? things like. Pete who? Oh, for crying in the mud. For crying in the mud, eh? <laughs> Where's freezing? He's up in the, in the UP. No, that's the UP, eh? I know, right, eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get one on Carla. Carla, look at the camera. Get Look at your camera. My camera. Okay. I asked Carla to wear the bandana because when I was, you know, editing stuff earlier today, I saw the clip with her in the red bandana and I thought, that looks, that's a great look for her. And I thought, this is going to be a cool look. You should wear the bandana. And she didn't fight me. She said, oh, okay. You think that looks good? I'll, I'll wear it. And so she put that's it on. That's kind of what, it, what normally happens when you say things like, hey, I think that'll look great. But then I wind up with glasses that I hate. <laughs> but look, look back at the camera. Put, put Carla back on. I am looking at the camera. You can't even tell. Look, you can hardly see you're wearing glasses. That's what makes those. Those are great glasses. I despise these glasses with every fiber of my being. I can't wait to get rid of them tomorrow. Right, well, okay, we, there we, we go. I, well, you need glasses to see. So that, but getting back to the bandana, I'd like, <laughs> there's 30 people watching right now. I would like to hear what does everybody think of Carla wearing the bandana? Is it, you can give a thumbs up or no? Because I think it's awesome. It's a great look for her. And I want to hear what everybody, Marcus is I a thumbs up. feel. Scott, it's a thumbs up. No. Put one on me, Marcus. Two thumbs up. Okay. So we want to hear from everybody else. Pastor Roxana, she's in the house. Y Pastorita. Scott Kaiser, he, he signed <laughs> on. <laughs> he gave it a thumbs up. Jen Wishart loves you, Carla. That's what she says. I love you, Jen Wishart. Hey, Marcus. No, actually, never mind. We don't have to do it like that. I can do it this way. Oh, the thumbs. Who is giving me thumbs up with these? Well, let's see. Linda Hopkins loves it. Hold on. Oh, wow, you're going to lose this one, Carla. I am going to lose you're this one. You're going to lose this bad. Aaron Boss says thumbs up. Daniel Fleming gives you three. James gives you three. Linda Hopkins loves it. Wow, the Malala Church of the Ne Nazarene <laughs> gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> By the way, that was me. <laughs> that was cheating. <laughs> Debbie yeah, Stedman I can, gives I you. I can see a little deal saying commented by Todd Joyner. Yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> Do you remember the other night when Friesen was on <laughs> and we were doing it and somebody was commenting? It was Ashley Fay, but we didn't yeah. remember. We didn't know. It was like, who's commenting? I, I, can, I, can, the bear, I can read it here. It said Ashley Fay, so I, I knew. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> Hold on. Debbie Stedman, thumbs up. Five thumbs up. Charlotte Pence, Garrick Agoidia gives you the thumbs up. Even Art likes it, uh, Carla. Shelly, Carla looks beautiful. That means that, that's Carla. That's, Shelly says no. That's a thumbs down that from, is, Car, from Shelly. Just you, so know you know what, Shelly? I wish you would just come right out and tell this man that he needs glasses for his glasses. <laughs> You're losing so no, badly. I know. I, I feel like, I told you, I feel like a chola. Pastor Roxana, uh, she, she loves you. I love you too, Pastor Rita. Jean Ansel is a thumbs up. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Boss. Oh, the bosses. They say it looks good. Boss squared. And they would know. So oh. there. And uh, Anna is on. That's with one N. So I'm going to guess that that is Anna Ortiz. Ortiz. Sandy Story gives you the thumbs up. See, the whole church says thumbs up. She always, she does, Linda. I agree with you. Oh, you guys are giving me a cavity. You will, Brian Story says he will give it a thumbs up if PT will wear a do-rag. First of all, I don't, I don't, I don't need any more help. The thumbs up have it. Clearly, I was in the right here because everybody. You need a do rag. Okay, you need to do it. See now, yes, I am totally with you on that, Brian story. Okay, Jen Wishart says you're that kind of hottie for PT, and your glasses are elegant. Makeup, you're graceful, and many blessings. That is quite Aww, the compliment. That Thank you, Jen. So that is sweet. very Thank sweet you of you. Thank you so much, Jen. Carla, you look great. The banana is cool. You're rocking it, girl. It would be in, she would be in your gang. Heidi would be in your gang, mm. in your pirate gang, with your one <laughs> earring gang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe we could be like, you know, the, the kitchen gang or something. Who knows? I don't know. We'll, we'll throw down in the kitchen. All you know, right. If, if you do want to have it be a pirate one, I do have a bandana with skulls on it. Oh, yeah, my cool. word. Arg. We need to get her one with like the ichthus with like the Jesus fish on it. 
or no, we, we, you know what? Somebody, I think it was David Jones said we need, he, we do, we need to get like a whole bunch of gear that has the MMN, the yeah, Monaz that would Media be Network. Awesome. Like, could you hats? I could put it right here. Yeah. You know, or in the front or shirts, and all this stuff is cost money, but it'd be really cool to have. But you could get a do rag <laughs> or bandanas with it. I think it'd be awesome. I think I get my I'd be willing. Flag. I'd be willing to put in. We could put in our own money to pay for some of those. Things. Yeah, that would be awesome. Because we've had a bunch of people who, who. I would highly recommend uh, Pepco here in town. They are local and they have pretty good prices and they do embroidery and everything. Thanks, man. Awesome. Yeah, that'd be good to know. Okay, so we will Pepco. Uh, be uh, be looking at that. All right, it is seven thirty. So I do have a devotion. And guys, again, I want to remind you that the format of the sh- of of this show is changing. And so it, we are, we don't have anybody that we're interviewing today, so I thought let's bring a devotion and we can go into prayer and, and do those kind of things. But it's not always going to be this way. And so like next Thursday is going to be a, or Thursday is going to be a different different thing. We're going to have Chris on. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I want to get Linda. And I did have some more some more people that I'd like to get on. We, we need to have Scott on. I mean, he's going to be running for mayor. And so as we get closer to those kind of things, that we'll would him, be a fantastic we'll, we'll get to hear interview. What, what, yeah, what he thinks about things yeah. and some things. And so we want to do things. I want to have um, some people from Spanish ministries on mm-hmm. and find out what we can do to help them, you know, grow that ministry. I want to get I want to, Tim Wong. I want oh, to get that yeah. guy in the studio. I want to hear his testimony. I want to, I want to, you know, I'd, need, I'd wear a Tim Wong shirt. Travis Catlett, that tea cat, you know, this guy. Yes, yes. There's just a bunch of people in our church, some new people, some not so new people that, that I think it'd be great for, for our people to get to know. And so that's one of the things. I'm even thinking about having... Like Zach and, and Mo, Hortichoke. Yes. Come in. And again, I know I've talked about having Pastor Gary Lee and, and Pastor Dale over from Foothills and different That would people. be fantastic. I did talk to the DS, DS Dave, and he did agree to come on, but he's got to get back to me with his schedule, so we just don't know when that's going to be. Cool. So, all right. So with that thought in mind, I do have a devotion um, that I've picked for us, and it's actually uh, not too much of a stretch from what we... Uh, preached on Sunday. In fact, it's actually the same text. It's from the parable of the lost sheep. And I'm going to again be reading in Luke chapter 15. And it says this, the parable of the lost sheep. Go ahead, guys, before we do that, I forgot, please share this video. Go on, share it on your homepage, share it uh, wherever, invite your friends, do, this is your way to share Jesus. And this is an important thing. And this is a thing I've been really kind of pounding home to, to our church people is that this is one of the best ways we have to share Jesus right mm-hmm. now is to share these kind of videos, to share the sermons on your homepage. It just, you never know who's going to watch it. You never know who's going to click on it and see it. Maybe nobody, but probably somebody. Mm-hmm. And they might click on, God has just a way of working these those things out where they click on and they come in, they see a devotion that helps them or they hear the prayer time and they feel like they can be a part of something. Right. I mean, a guy like Scott is a great, a great example of how something like that works. Mm-hmm. Or, or Jen, who's a part of the, the live stream now, or, or the, the, the soup Nazis, even though they have family in the church. Mm-hmm. They don't come to our church, but they are faithful to watch. Remember, I had one of my old co-workers just like sign right, on. I right. was so stunned to see her. So yeah, it, you'd never know who's going to to join join with us and what they might be going through and what they might need. And you know, hopefully they, they get ministered to and, and feel loved here. All right. And so, and I just want to point out last before that Pastor Daniel is still doing his morning prayer and it's every day. So you still get to see that and you don't have to watch it live. In fact, he's not doing it live. It's all pre-recorded, but it comes on like at six in the morning. So now people who couldn't be on earlier can watch and people who come on later can also watch. That's fantastic. But it's not, it's not the interactive thing, but there's still a devotion. It's still prayer time and it's, it's a cool thing. So make sure to be a part of that as well. The parable of the lost sheep, Luke chapter 15, verse one says, Now the tax collectors and sinners were all gathering around to hear Jesus. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law muttered, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. Now we're going to stop there. Now I did this on Sunday talking about this, but this is where I want to spend the bulk of this devotion time. Because I think this this is something that is negatively impacting, and it's it's almost like an affliction on the the church right now, Mm -hmm. is even in the time I've noticed on Facebook is where I really started seeing. I want to tell you guys, I haven't been on Facebook other than for the live stream and just here and there in two weeks. And I'm so happy about that. I'm not, I feel better. My my general mood is better. Mm -hmm. And so I've been avoiding Facebook like the plague. And the things that I see on Facebook by people who call themselves Christians, I saw that Chauncey 
the one of the last things I saw, he put a post on there. He says, I'm taking a break from Facebook because I can't stomach the Christians that are on it. Mm -hmm. And as I thought, wow, that's an indictment. Yeah. And so I thought about that and I read this text and as I was planning for last Sunday's sermon, this thought came to mind. Here we have, I want you to really catch this scene. You have Jesus, right? And he is seen by church people sitting down with the tax collectors and the sinners, right? I mean, and but it's an interesting thing, that the terminology of and the sinners. Mm -hmm. Like, how did they know, right? Now, we know that Jesus knows, right? right? And we know that we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory. So you could, potentially, you could say that whenever Jesus sits with anybody, he's sitting with sinners, right? But notice the terminology that is used, that we use, and we see the, this idea that the church people, they snub their nose at that. Mm -hmm. There's this mindset that we very quickly forget who we used to be, right? That, that the mode of our lives used to be one of sin and not one of holiness or not one of obedience, which, of course, now, as we become believers and as we begin to, to, to become sanctified believers and we understand that this idea that we can live holy lives, what does Jesus say to the prostitute? He says, go and sin no more. No more right? he, he doesn't say go and do your best. He doesn't say go and try. He says go and sin no more, mm -hmm. right? And I don't think Jesus would tell her that. If he wasn't going to right. if he wasn't going to give her the power to do it, right? And so through the power of the spirit. So here we have this scenario where the tax collectors, all the 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 lowers of of society, right? If you today you're the the gang members, all of the rotten people, the pirates of the world, right? <laughs> all of the the people that that we would naturally associate as people who want nothing to do with Jesus are the very people that he is sitting with and talking to him. And who has a problem with it? The church the people. church people, yeah. And it's no different today. It's absolutely no different today. This is going to be a very brief and a very unique devotion. I'm not going to go into the depth of the scripture, but it is an indicting text. As I read that and as I see the things that are on Facebook, what I am seeing from Christians on Facebook is that we are far more interested in politics. We are far more interested in our opinions, and we are far more interested in being right. And catch this one, Christians, we are far more interested in the things that we think we need versus the things of God. Mm. And that's, the, that's what I see on Facebook from the Christians. Rarely, rarely do I see anything that is helpful or that is beneficial. Rarely do I see things that build people up or edify each other or anything like that. What I see is I like Trump or I hate Trump or, you know, uh, the church should be this or the church shouldn't be this. And I was just so fed up with it that it brought me to that text. Even again, even right in the same week that I preached on it, I'm like, you know, I that, remember the Jesus, how long must I suffer this? Yes. I guarantee you I'm the only pastor that's ever quoted Plankton in a sermon series. I, you know, something I quoted tells SpongeBob. Me, right? Yeah, you did. You, you I quoted actually SpongeBob did. from the platform. That's pretty funny. But <laughs> we have to do this. Now, I've had people not debate, but counter this with the Timothy text that says, you know, that in the last days, we will see people who are lovers of themselves. And it talks about all the, mm. these horrible people. And it says, stay away from them, have nothing to do with them. That is out of context. That's not what we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. We're talking about with this idea of winning people to Jesus. And if you're only socializing and you're only using social media as a benefit, as a self edifying thing, you're not winning anybody to Jesus. You might win some people to yourselves. Right. You might sway an opinion or two, but probably not. I mean, because I can tell you, no one's going to change my opinion on Facebook. Right. That's not going to happen. Right. And this is not just an indictment for people on Facebook, but this is how we carry ourselves in the world today. I mean, we have an entire group of people that if you see somebody wearing a Make America Great Again hat, automatically they formulated opinion. Automatically there's going to be some backlash. There's going to be some pushback. Mm -hmm. There's going to be all of those things. And it becomes very problematic all because of a hat somebody's wearing. Right. That should not be. And as Christians, we need to carry that torch. We need to carry that mantle. And we need to understand that Jesus himself, what does Chris Wallace said on the, one of the last live streams we did? If Jesus never sat down with sinners, he would have always eaten alone. Mm-hmm. And that's your devotion for the day. It's a tie-in. It's a follow-up with what we had on Sunday is that don't be too good to eat a little bit of humble pie, to stop proving yourself right, to stop making your own points, to use social media as a means to share the gospel instead of a means to share your opinion and try to change the opinion of somebody who's a mind you're never going to change, right? 
You know what I mean? That We'll leave that Scott Kaiser's job. He wants you to vote for him, so he's going to change your opinion. He's going to try to do those things. But as Christians, we're not trying to do that from the political side of things. We're just trying to say, hey, this is who I used to be. Mm-hmm. This is who I am now, and here's why. And we give him the gift of Jesus. So that's your devotion of the day. Carla, anything you want to add to that? No, no. There, what else can you add to that? I mean, it, that was strong. It was strong on Sunday morning. Uh, very, very convicting. And um, I'm just, I'm grateful to to have you bring that word. Well, I'm grateful that, that you're grateful that I get to bring that word. Well, I'm grateful that you're grateful that I'm grateful. I'm also grateful for the bandana and that everybody on the live stream, with the exception, me, uh, with the exception of the Shelley bandana, Watt, really? thinks you look good in the in the bandana. And my guess is Shelley thinks you look good. She just would prefer it without it. But you saw the overwhelming majority gave the thumbs up. Gentlemen, is that correct? I'm sorry. I couldn't see that. It was too far away. Gabby, is Gabby still on? Or it's late <laughs> in South Florida. If Gabby, because I know Ryan probably doesn't like it. I'd like to know what Gabby thinks of it. Be- oh, there <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant, but, <laughs> but, but, but okay. Yes. <laughs> I thought Gabby was our code word. <laughs> no, it, it, it is. You, you did fine. You did fine. Oh, that's great. Grapefruit grateful. I have no idea what that means. Charlotte Penn says, thank you for this great devotion. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Debbie Stedman says, I have a lot of friends who don't know Jesus, and I share a lot of uplifting and inspirational quotes I'm waiting for them to unfriend me, and and <laughs> probably that'll happen, but yeah, that's okay. Eventually. That's not a, that's not necessarily a bad thing, Debbie. They may unfriend you, but they will also know where to go, um, uh, when when yeah, when trouble strikes. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Marcus, your dad still wants to see me in a do rag. I don't have a do rag. I would wear one, but I don't have one. I can make that happen. Make it happen. You bring it in, and I'll wear it. You got it. Hey, I am looking for a dress for Carla. For the wedding, she rocks it all. You know what? I, oh. I think I think Carla should wear a bandana at the wedding. I am wearing a fascinator at the wedding. I am not wearing hold on, hold a on, bandana. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Yes. Okay. For all the men out here, mm-hmm. we don't know what a fascinator is. I mean, I know what fascinating is, but look, show, put this on screen. A fascinator? Ho- no, hold on. Nobody knows that. N- we don't know what a fascinator you is. You know what a fascinator is? No. What is a fascinator? Okay, so think like the oh. royal wedding, you know, where they, the women wear like these very proper little hats. And they're not just hats. They are intricate little pieces of, of headwork. So they have might have flowers or feathers or um, just just unique little things and they're called fascinators the fascinator <laughs> they're fascinating the newest men of the x-men <laughs> <laughs> it's right it's a it's a new superhero the fascinator he, he, he will fascinate you hats. you will Look. be fascinated yes oklahoma <laughs> every night my honey lemon i so when we say why it by oda we're always saying I'm doing fine, Oklahoma. No. Oklahoma, O K L A H O M A. She is going to look fabulous. Uh, PT mentioned MAGA hats, and I thought similar discussion maybe and the lack of tolerance. You know, it's an interesting thought, Melissa. You know, I don't know of anywhere in Scripture that we are told to be tolerant. I was look. I was thinking about that. I had this conversation with Chris Bar Wallace uh, earlier today. Uh, because we should, there are things we should not tolerate. Mm-hmm. We should not tolerate nonsense in the church. We should not tolerate uh, sin uh, from ourselves or from our brothers and sisters. Anything that that drags down you know? our God's reputation, that right. that should not be tolerated. But I, but I don't think that's really what she means from that standpoint. We certainly have to be tolerant. Oh yeah. Of individuals and decisions that they make, mm-hmm. but we still have to stand up for those things that are right. Yeah, and so that that's and that's kind of more along the lines of uh, Jen would like to know if you like your hair curly. You know, it's much easier when it's curly, but I have found that here in Oregon, because it's not there's not a lot of humidity, um, it doesn't curl the same way that it does when we lived in Florida. So yes and no. I'm I'm to the point now where. I'm kind of getting used to straightening it. Um, so, yeah, I would prefer it curly. You just completely blew Scott's mind when you said no humidity here in Oregon. Oh, Scott, have you ever been to South Florida? No. Okay. 
L- listen to me. <laughs> I, can't, I, we can't, I can't hear him, Marcus. I couldn't hear what he was saying. I've been in Jersey, and that was miserable. Oh, New Jersey? Okay. Listen. Oh, yes. L- l- listen. That's humidity up there. It is humidity in Jersey. But there's nowhere humid like South Florida, maybe Southern Texas. Texas, yeah. Texas is like that. But Where you walk outside, and it's like a dishwasher. You're entering the dishwasher. Yeah, you, if you've been to Jersey, you know that kind of heat. I remember Ooh. it working for the post office in Lake Worth, which yeah. is South Florida. And <laughs> and remember the green Jeep? Yes. Which had no air conditioning. Oh, my gosh, yes. If I didn't roll my windows down, when I, I, got, I would get to, to work at like 4 in the morning, and I'd always park under a tree. If I didn't, if I didn't, if I missed it and didn't roll my windows down, you'd go out at 10 o'clock in the morning. 11 o'clock in the morning, you open the door, you cannot get in that car. You'll, you'll fry. It's that hot. I mean, you it's open brutal. it and it's like a dish, like when you open the dishwasher. Yeah. It's just crazy. Fog your glasses. It, it's crazy how hot that is. And you just have to let that air out. And then that's just stupid. Yeah. I don't think this is humid out here at all. Oh, no. There's, un- there's no humidity here no. to me. Well, and there's some. There is some, but I it's nothing it. like other places. No. I actually think the climate here is the best I've ever experienced. It's fantastic. I wouldn't trade the Oregon climate for anywhere. I love the change of seasons. The summer, you cannot beat the summer here. It's right. dry. The worst was just... New Mexico. Oh. Now, guys, listen, we are going to get into some prayer. So I'll tell you what, while yeah. we're, while we're we'll talking about this, why don't you throw in some prayer requests, and uh, and we'll be writing those down. There was uh, already one for Jen. Uh, her She's having some troubles with her youngest. Okay. Her so 12-year-old we'll... daughter uh, has basically told her she doesn't. Uh, read the Bible, does not follow the Bible, does not believe anything the Bible says. Gotcha. Aww. Laura is here. Laura Michelle, uh, or more, Laura Lefevre is here. And Hello, that is Laura. great to see you. But yeah, go ahead and put some prayer requests on there, and then we will, we will cover those here in just and a Gabby, minute. And Gabby, too. We need to get Gabby up there because she's got, yeah, that's a, that's a big prayer The, the Gabarella. She probably went to bed. She's up pretty late. I know that. Yeah, it's um, late. But, I, you know, I just finished that thought. Oregon was e- is easily the the nicest climate I, i've ever where i've ever lived the worst new mexico oh. uh, that was just dry and awful and and it it it's hot that's really it but it's deceivingly hot because it's so dry well it's I either s- really hot or really cold there's nothing in between it never rains and everything's brown i still remember when we first moved to roswell and it was like 112 degrees outside and we had no idea so we pack up the kids and we go to the zoo. And you nobody know, was there. There was a free zoo. We're like right around the corner. And we get there and nobody's there. And we can't figure out why is nobody at the zoo? It's like so cool. They've got like really neat places and or really neat little animals and blah, blah, blah. So we walk around, have a wonderful time, get back home. And our neighbors are out and they're like, where did you guys go? So we went to the zoo. Do you realize it's 112 degrees outside? <laughs> It doesn't feel it like doesn't that, though. It doesn't feel like it. It felt like maybe 90, maybe, but it was so dry. So it was like convection oven heat. Okay, Debbie Stebnett would like us to pray for Mike and Jenny and the kids, so we'll do that. And um, uh, Laura Lefever says she just started an independent consultant with Pampered Chef, and she'd like prayer that it does well. <laughs> and Laura, I am still waiting for an appointment to be made so we can talk about a Bible study and... This just isn't happening. And I, to the best of my knowledge, you haven't made that appointment. Not that I'm getting on to you. Yes, I am. And you need to contact me about Pamper Chef because, oh, yes. No, you, no, you don't. <laughs> yes. You, no, you don't. You, you don't. you don't need to yes, do that. Yes, you do. I love Pamper Chef. Okay. But we will certainly pray for those things. need to be praying for Miss Shelley and her back. And, yes. And for Brother Chris Wallace, who is currently, oh, we got to talk. We got to talk with um, Maddie, Chris. Miss Maddie Adams. Chris Wallace's mom. Mom today. I've never spoken to his mom before. And, what and a gem. she is exactly like you would imagine her to be. Yeah. She is the most gentle spirited, soft spoken, pleasant, beautiful woman. woman over the phone that you could ever imagine. Yes. Now, we've never met. It's the first time we've ever spoken to her. But I, I was talking to Chris today, and he's in Columbus, Georgia just kind of you know tending to his mother right now and we got to talk to her and it was just it, it made it was a highlight of my day you know who she reminded me of and this is going to be an, an odd comparison but mr john from calvary oh yeah no i can see that but like they, they that won't have any idea who i know that is. that's that just like 
Yeah. Yeah. You Very remember, refined. Do you remember, uh, oh, what, it wasn't Grandma Rose, but in, in Roswell. Yeah, that is Grandma was Rose. Was it Grandma Rose? That was her name? Similar. Similar presence to her. Yeah. It was very, very, very cool. Okay, so. Uh, Jen also had another. Yeah, I got that. I got that. Yeah. And uh, the, the there was a dumpster fire. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. There... Evidently, the flames went up about 25 feet in the air at about uh, the apartments almost caught on fire it, but the uh, fire department were able to show up on time according to a previous comment okay we had a fire in our neighborhood we i did? just yes i forgot to tell you this like across the street okay not where the the ukrainian family is but across the street from them like two houses down uh -huh. evidently one of the fireworks landed in their yard and they had no idea but it caught the bark Part on dust, fire yeah. And it burned their their gate to the backyard. So the oh, house wow. was on fire. And they had no idea. One of the neighbors went over and knocked on their door. And they were, like, bringing buckets of water. Wow. And got them out. And Yeah, we live over in Bear Creek, it. which is the new uh, new uh, new subdivision here in Malala. Um, Jean says she went to Orlando once and was miserable with the, uh, the heat. <laughs> the and she humidity. Said, and she had a husband <laughs> named Tex, so she didn't like Texas too much either. <laughs> All right. All right. So, Laura, you're going to set up a uh, an appointment. That's what she's saying. Could you, Carla, you should host a party with Laura. You can get so many discounts. Stop putting these horrible ideas in Carla's mind. Melissa, Honey, stop. Listen. Stop listen. this nonsense now. Just look at my eyeballs. Turn your head listen, this way. You need to think, turn your head this way. Turn this way. You need to think way. of spiritual things. Just look at your camera and he'll see you on the screen. I am there looking right in your eyeballs right now, Pastor. You need to. Talk. You need to. You need to focus more on spiritual things. Those are the Lord's cheap. Now the, listen, <laughs> listen to me. Those are not the Lord's kitchen supplies. Listen to me, okay? <laughs> you will benefit from my pampered chef expeditions. How? Oh, because I will make you many, many great new recipes and and feed you wonderful things. Scott, I mean, Scott's in there patting his stomach. Yeah, see? And Cobbler. Cobbler. <laughs> Am I the only one here who doesn't know what Pampered Chef is? Pampered Chef is, oh my gosh, they have like... a poor like, excuse to get women together to gossip and talk about their men. <laughs> and also, and also... <laughs> <laughs> you got to put that on video. <laughs> you have to put... <laughs> Listen. That is awesome. <laughs> Put, the, the, Laura, that doesn't mean I will not pray for the success of your pampered chef. And and Carla is welcome to host the video. I'm just we're just having fun. It's phenomenal. They, they have all sorts of um like kitchen supplies and all you name it. You I mean think of something that you could use in the kitchen and pampered chef has it i have a pampered chef mandolin no i have a lot of pampered chef things but my favorite is my garlic press that is like the best garlic press on the planet and it was only 89 dollars. no those are cutco <laughs> knives thank you <laughs> a lifetime warranty that's right that's right you're right <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, I'm I'm just giving her a hard time. I think it'd be cool to host. It would be a lot it of would fun. Give, it would we give would Scott and Marcus and I a reason to not be around. Okay. I'm going to put you in a tux and have you be the footman. All right, so so, so <laughs> Laura is uh, scheduling with uh, with Ruth. Okay. All right, that must have been full of fire. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and now I'm really hungry. Amazing cookware and PT will only cost you a paycheck. Yes. Exactly right. I love you all, and you would look good eating in a do-rag, Carla. Now I'm going to cook my medium shrimp spices. <laughs> I could use a chef. Do they do that? Wow. Okay, I just got mine. The garlic press is one of their best sellers. How do you, Pastor Daniel, I'm, I'm ashamed that you know this. <laughs> I, I, shame on you. Because he knows quality, that's why. Shame on you for A, knowing it, and then commenting no. on it, and you, you just belch right there. Yeah, like, right. No, that's just lovely. Charlotte Penn's character going to <laughs> Right? It's just horrible. <laughs> okay, guys, listen, 754, I do want to get to prayer here, so we do have a handful, uh, but that, that's really what we've got here, and I don't think there's anything else there, was there? Um, I, I do have one for, okay. yeah, my birth mother. Can you tell how how we're going to pray for her? Yes. So my brother called the other day, and normally, you know, he'll call on a weekend and 
he called me on a Monday, which was really, I was I was taken back by it. But he um, was saying that I guess she's in pretty failing health, and uh, she's only able to see. She's blind in one eye, and she's losing more vision in her other eye. Um, so he really would like the three of us, my sister and and myself, to visit her in um, in Ohio. So after the first of the year, I think is is when we're talking about trying to make that happen, and that will be um, that will be a big like a big deal for me personally because I've never met her, and that's kind of hard to to even fathom right but um for my siblings it i think it's even more so difficult because they never had a relationship with her Mm -hmm. and um to think of you know how my sister is is willing to put the past behind and and move forward my sister is a believer so i mean that it shouldn't surprise me at all because you you just know you know her walk with the lord is so strong right but my brother is um, is the one who's really trying to to make it all. He's a happen. good egg, though. He really is. He has the biggest, most compassionate heart. That he's yeah, a big guy, like Pastor Matt, isn't he? Like six six. And, he's six six. Yeah, he's a. <laughs> and, I have and a you're brother not. <laughs> who is six foot six. That that just cracks me up. I'm thinking, dude, what happened? Why he, did he, I miss he's, out? He's literally like, because uh, you're five three, right? Right? Isn't that right? Are we really going with my height? I mean, well, I mean this, I'm just this saying. is what Let's we're see. doing now? That's <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Let, let's get to prayer here. Let's just get to prayer. All right. So DJ is on. We'll say hi to DJ. But hey, we're gonna, DJ. we got a handful of prayers to cover, and then, uh, and then we can talk a little more about <laughs> kitchen supplies if we want. Yes. <laughs> Can't imagine why we'd want, but we can. All right, here we go. Let's pray. Most gracious and almighty Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before you. What what a fun time tonight. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Thank Jesus. you for the studio and thank you for the joy of being a part of this and for, for Scott being uh yes. being willing to be a part of this, Father God, and for Marcus and for all the people that went into making this, Mark Ruby and Shelly and yes. Steve and all the people who contributed to these things, Father God. We thank you for those things. But Lord, above all thank things, you. we thank you for being good. We thank you for your goodness and your kindness, that it endures forever, and that your love never stops as well, Father God. We thank you for those things as well. Lord, we thank you in the midst of this pandemic that we are having to relearn uh, what it means to do church and how to to reestablish something through the form of, uh, of media. And it's been challenging, but it's been good, and we thank you for those things as well. And we thank you for the fellowship time that we can have, whether it's through a wall with Scott and Marcus or online with the people who've been a part of what we're doing. We just thank you for these things. So, Lord, there's a number of things to pray for. I want to lift Jen up to you, and she's continuing to struggle with her daughter, who is not a believer in the difficult set of circumstances that Mm -hmm. surround that. There are many details, and you know all of them, Father God, but at the heart of that is a salvific relationship with Mm -hmm. you. So I just pray that you would reveal yourself to her daughter even now and use whatever format that you need. Uh, to get this young girl's attention. I pray yes. that you would cover Jen and, and that Jen would, would find a way to be uh, the best example of Christ to her yes, daughter Lord. that she can be. And so we lift that situation up to you. Lord, we want to lift Gabby up to you, who uh, has had a number of surgeries on her legs, multiple surgeries, and now is, is facing another one in potentially having hip surgery. And the stress that that's adding, the anxiety and and we want to lift Gabby up to you yes, in that situation, Father. Father God. Pray for your protection over her as well. Her, her we want to lift Debbie uh, as she continues to pray for, for her daughter, Jenny, and, and her husband, Mike, and those kids. Father, yes. just a lot of issues there. But, Father, at the at the core of them is, is a relationship with you. And so we just pray that you would continue to draw them closer. Yes, Lord. That you would surround them with a hedge of protection and keep them safe as well. And and Laura Laura Lord Laura is starting a a pampered chef um, business I guess is what it would be and she's asking that we would pray for success yes. we can certainly do that and so we lift the situation that that Laura would use it not just as a way to to sell um, uh, kitchen equipment but it would be a, a means with which she could share your gospel yes, Lord. and so we pray for favor in that and success in that scenario Lord we want to lift up our sister Shelley who's really struggling with this back and. Mm. And, and what's going on there. And she's going to need Jesus. surgery, and, and we're limited with the number Touch of people who can do this. And she, So we're in a waiting game. 
And so, Lord, I pray that during this time that you would bring reprieve and yes. relief from the pain. Yes, Lord. And that you would just cover her with a hedge of protection and bring healing to her. It's hard for her not to be here, even on a night like tonight when they're dancing downstairs, which is one of her passions, Father God. We just pray mm. that you would give her reprieve. Yes. And Lord, we want to lift Carla's mom, Shirley, up to you as she's struggling with health and poor vision. We pray that you would sustain her and that, that there would be a favorable set of circumstances that would allow Carla and her siblings to, to interact with their mother, uh, their biological mother, uh, together at the same time. Yes. So we pray for that situation. Lord, I thank you for a church family that has already put forth the finances to pay for Carla thank you, to do something like that. And so we thank you for that. Thank you, Father. Lord, there's a number of things to be thankful for. We thank you for the opportunity we have in the world today to share your gospel. We yes. thank you that, that, that your people are ripe and they're ready. We pray that you would continue to work on the hearts of people. We pray that you would bring healing into the culture. We pray that you would bring healing into the into the politics of this country. Yes. We, we pray, Lord, a, as we continue to, to turn our eyes towards you, that you would reveal your good and perfect will to our president and yes, to his Lord. cabinet and to the, those in Congress. We also want to lift up our governor and the governors as they deal with difficult circumstances. Father God, pray that you would reveal your will to them and that you would give them every attribute they need yes. to succeed in your time for your glory. So, Lord, we love you. We praise you. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Wow. Somebody got real happy with memes or with uh, tags. I see this. <laughs> wow. That's okay. Hey, I'm twenty. I'm five two on a good day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Scrolling back. All right. So it, it's eight o'clock. We got a few more minutes uh, that we can talk about. I don't know. Starbuck and Battlestar Galactica and. Apollo and Lord of the Rings and Cap Live Long and Prosper. Captain Kirk and his brother um, Anakin <laughs> Skywalker Kirk. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm making myself laugh. Anakin Skywalker Kirk. There, there, he left. Marcus left. You're done. The studio. You, you did it. You broke Marcus. <laughs> You broke Marcus. Oh, if ever there was a time for Gabby, too, you know. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> it's Scott Kaiser making it happen. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. And, and we all, you know, we all know Anakin Skywalker's nickname, Strider, and his brother, Aragorn. As his, as he, you know. If you're going to say, you know, Iracorn. Don't you remember as, as he, the Veggie as Tales, he, Iracorn? As he traveled to Endor. Oh, you've been muted. I love it. Oh yes! <laughs> I have control. I have the power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, put my mic back on. <laughs> <laughs> Were you worried about a month ago about ha what? Oh, they're, that's like they're having a conversation in there. Oh, <laughs> so, oh my god! Just so easy. Is it? Yes. Is it? Yes. Mm. We have to return the lightsaber, or the dilithium crystals. That you know that that's what caused the force in people. See, you, I'm I'm gonna do this. Watch. <laughs> Ooh, I'm turning you off completely. It's the midichlorians for the Jedi, okay? No, midichlorians are are what are what Scotty uses to power the the to power um the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> oh my gosh! I'm sorry. You know it's funny, man. You know it is funny. Is it? Yes. Mr. Scott, the Millennium Falcon, you know. And then, of course, you had Next Generation with, you know, w with First Officer Han Solo. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I can't deal with you. Well, it, the fact that I know all these things should prove to you that I actually know where they really are. Oh, so. do you? So we're just having fun. Are you? <clears throat> <sighs> yes. <laughs> this was fun tonight. This was, I, I needed this. It was fun tonight. I and don't here. forget the elf that lived in the tree. What was his name? Keebler? Oh, Nothing yeah. tastes better than a cookie baked in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mia 
Okay, last yesterday, this is a true story. Yesterday, we had one of those full family size packs of Oreo cookies, right? Yeah. Now, I will confess that yesterday I was craving it, and I had like seven, right? Okay, I had seven of these cookies. Now, in the family size, you get the three rows of cookies, right? Yeah, yeah. So somewhere between yesterday afternoon yeah. and today, I go in there, I open up, and there's like five cookies left. I had three cookies today, and there were like, there was a maybe less than a row left. I think that the girls had a field day. So Mia and Emily. Eight cookies. Emily Jones. <laughs> eight cookies. Devoured all of the cookies. And you would, I bet you anything, they drank the last soda too. What do you want to bet? Oh, for Pete's sake. Who is Pete? What, what's up with that? Oh, for crying in the mud. Is that better? Yeah, I got a question. For Pete's sake, heavens to Betsy, for the love of Mike, who are these people? I, 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 I mean, really, who are these people? Right? I mean, why did we come up with just random names for this? What, you know, where did that happen? Oh, for the love of Byron. <laughs> <laughs> I need like a Darth Vader voiceover thing that we could just, you know. I do have an app that I can actually alter your uh, voice with if you want. I can try to rig that up. It would take quite a bit, but. Let's not. No, I don't think we need to do that. (coughs) You know what, guys, you got to stop. Listen, listen, I'm going to get on to you right now. I, I do pass comments up and and it's not intentional. It's just how that goes. And so it's it's difficult for, for me to see them all. So so please, please don't point them out and remind me to do those things. It, it, it makes me feel bad. And so that that's how it goes. So I don't get to see them all. And remember, I'm going to say it again. The concept of this is changing. It's not as much interactive. I know it's been interactive tonight, but that's not the, that's not the way we're going to keep going. Live long and proper. <laughs> <laughs> that From my own pinky. father. I know. I'm Are you it. serious, Dad? <laughs> my own father. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't know. So this is uh, this is it. This is what the, what we have become. We have become, I don't know. Do you, okay. No, nobody here is going to know that. When I was a kid, now you're talking eight. So we're talking 40 years ago. There was a cartoon called. I'm sorry, excuse me, how many years ago? 40 something. Okay. What did I? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah? No. No. I'm going to finish it now. You can just guess what I was going to say, young lady. Did no. it have something to do with an evil Knievel no, racing No, no, that was the best toy ever. Thing? No, there was a show, it was a cartoon came on that came on, it was called Star Blazers. And they've remade it a few times. In fact, there was one remade in 2013 and there's another one that they I think they're just remaking. The original was un- my mom watched it with me. I mean, honestly and and liked it. Oh, I and I that. was wondering if anybody knows that, that uh, that would be cool. It, I would love to be able to see the original because that, that would be awesome. Marcus is looking for it. There's a new one out now, and it's not, it's not, I, mean, I haven't seen it. I don't know if it's any good, but, but I'm sure that, uh, I'm sure that, uh, I'm sure that I'd love to see the original one if it was still on. So we have dead air while Marcus is looking and we're all waiting for this. Carla, talk, do, dance, juggle, something. I can't juggle. You should be able to juggle. I can't. You can juggle. You're the juggler. You know what happens when I juggle. <laughs> I'm the juggler. It's, the like a ba- juggler. it's like a Batman villain. The juggler. <laughs> <laughs> it probably is some sort of villain from from the comics. <laughs> the juggler. He, like, yeah. You know what? People on the live stream have not seen... Hey, Marcus, put the camera on Carla. I'm going to go move it to let him see the sign behind her. So go ahead. Okay. Go ahead and talk to people. Say go hi. ahead and talk to people. Oh, the sign. This sign is absolutely amazing. Where's the remote? Because I love that you can do. The remote is under the monitor. Oh, I see it. I see it. Ready? 
We should flip the lights, love. You know, Marcus's OCD is going nuts right now. People are moving in the room. <laughs> is that the coolest, though? Hey, yeah, Marcus, turn the lights off. Going dark? Stop your that. moving. I can't. All right, go ahead and put the lights back on now. Of course, Carla's ruined it. <gasps> Oh my gosh! No, I'm <laughs> but isn't that the coolest? I thing? think it's fantastic. It really is fantastic. I love it. I want to zoom in like right up to like under your nose. Is that all right, Mark? For those of you who could not hear, he just said to Carla, he wants to zoom right up on her nose. <laughs> hey, Marcus. Yes. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Yep. There you go. <laughs> What? He's not on mic. I gotta give commentary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, Jen, hold on. Jen Wishart just said, <laughs> this is really funny. She said, God is my father, but PT is her Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> that's very good. But well she done. spelled Kenobi wrong. Hey, oh well, I can that. forgive that. That's right. The, the, the <laughs> thought is there. Uh, Charlotte says, thank you, Shelly. All right. Good night, Miss Debbie. We're getting ready to sign off ourselves. Yeah. So. Yes, Our son's yes. got Sandy and Evil Knievel stunt cycle. Oh my gosh, Brian, that was my favorite toy as a kid. The Evil Knievel oh, thing. Oh, yes. Vroom, and he'd jump. Man, that was the best. Wait, you got that one year for Christmas? No, for they, they got Sandy that. I gave that to my mom as a Christmas present one year. That it's is the, fantastic. That's the funnest toy. I loved that toy. I mean, when I go back to my child, that, and remember the $6 million man? Yeah. The $6 million man doll? Scott, how old are you? Okay. Were 46. You, yeah. Okay. So the $6 million man doll that had the hole in his head with the eye and you could look through the back of his head and it would zoom in. Okay. See, I didn't have that one. Well, I'm sure not. You had Barbie and whatever. But but the $6 million man guy, he had, listen, on his arm, it was like silicone and you could pull it back and it had all of his mechanics. It was the coolest. That is the coolest it thing. Wa it was the coolest doll ever. And I don't know what made him think about this. Well, when they mentioned the evil Knievel toys. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The evil Knievel doll. I think I might have had Bionic Woman. Did they make a Bionic Woman yes, doll? Yes, they did. Jamie Summers, right? Yes, yes. And and the actress was... Um, Lindsay Wagner. Lindsay Wagner. That's right. I had such a crush on her. She, I mean, come on. She was pretty and she could beat you up. And she could, like, take you out. That's right. She would. She could beat up all the guys who wanted to beat me up. She couldn't beat Farrah Fawcett. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh my goodness! It's <sighs> just <laughs> this is just odd. We, we, it's going really south here. Oh yes, yes it is. And that's got to be the cue. Yep, that all I right. think that's it. We're guys. Any, anything happy. else that you guys want to add before we we sign off here? I just want to whisper one more time, just to get it in your head. Okay, it's not getting in my head, <laughs> but okay. <clears throat> Good night, sweetheart. Well, yeah, it's time, time to, to go. go. I, I just got to say, I just love his voice. Oh, it's man. fantastic. It's going to be good when we get him on here on, on one of these mics and we, we actually yes. ask him really good questions and things like that. Yes. It should be fun. Yes. It should be fun. Aww. All right. Love you all. All right. Marcus, no more sunglasses, man. People will think you're you're doing things you shouldn't be doing. What, like having a migraine? What, like falling asleep? Yes. There you go. <laughs> I want to yes. get eastbound and down on. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. You know, yes. he looks kind of like the bandit ready to yes. go Yes. Eastbound and down, loaded okay, up and trucking. No, there's a reason you don't sing on the worship team. And, <laughs> and now we all know why. Leave him alone. You're not on. Your mic's not on. <laughs> Which is, Scott Kaiser turned his mic off. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was fantastic. All right, guys, here we go. The time for us to leave has come. Carla, that is our camera right there. Are you ready? Right here. Three, right. two, one. Go, go tell, tell somebody, somebody about, about Jesus. Jesus. God bless you. God bless you guys. You we are love dismissed. You. Be well, and we'll see you when we see you. See you soon. Bye-bye.